We really wanted a very of-the-moment uh, package in our October issue on how we date now. The reality is dating is almost a passe term now. Nobody dates in the way that you know one did 20 years ago or 30 years ago. We went behind the scenes at Mary Claire Magazine and what we asked our fashion editors and our features editors and, and people from beauty, is the Devil Wears Prada fantasy or is it reality? It's funny their perception of what the magazine world really is. And for some of them, it, they do have expectations. They go out for a date, they have to think a little bit more carefully about what they're going to wear or um, you know, how they're going to look. It's a little bit more special when you wear a dress, especially for a first date. It's a little bit more unexpected. Just a little bit more romantic in some way. You picture meeting like your dream boy in your dress. Is it kind of hard to keep a relationship going while you're traveling all the time and in the office all the time? I think it's definitely really hard. I mean, you are traveling so many weeks out of the month and then it eats up your weekends also. And you wanna, of course, give them your time, your complete time, but you also have family to worry about, friends to worry about. So a lot of times I catch myself being like, let's go out to dinner with my friends and family. And he's like, whoa. Technology has changed it exponentially because of IMing and Friendster and MySpace and all of that stuff. There are just different ways that people have to get together and to meet and to prolong a relationship or to cut it off. Technology <laughs> immediately came into play. Um, the next day, next morning, I signed on to check my email and I had a Facebook notification. You know, there's always the temptation to text and, and email, so there's been a lot of kind of tech-related post-breakup interactions. When you break up, then you need to uh, re-update your status and that um, people are actually, actually keeping an eye out for um, this kind of thing. The technology has just changed everything. I mean, the fact that when you break up with someone, uh, you, you know, telling them in person that you don't want to see them any, anymore is just the start of it. Then you have to break up on all of your, you know, tech platforms, you know, so that all of your mutual friends know what's happened. And, and how did you meet the guy that you're dating now? Um, I actually met him at a bar. Uh, have you ever mm -hmm. gone the online route? I never have, no. But some of my friends have. So it, I think it's becoming more of a common thing, whereas in the past people, it was kind of like a taboo thing. So um, it's just a convenience. You know, you shop online, you shop for a guy online. Women are, you know, expressive and aggressive and in control and in charge in many ways, as you might suspect. But there are also many ways in which, you know, they, they've got the same hang-ups uh, that women have ever had. Do you find it hard to meet people through work? I have met at least one person through this building. And? It didn't work out, apparently. <laughs> All my friends give me a really hard time about being too picky and having a really long list of deal breakers. Um, rather than a checklist of things that I do want, it's more a checklist of things I don't. So, like, sandals. I think that it's not that hard to just wear a pair of sneakers or something, and um, I think shoes are a lot of times a deal breaker. There are so many issues in dating right now, there aren't even any rules anymore, and we thought we need to do a package on this and find out how people are finding the way through. Dove Intense Damage Hair Care repairs accumulated damage for fewer split ends. Your five days from beautiful hair. Our race and ethnicity it has a lot to do with globalization and the influences that different um, women of different heritages take from each other. It's a huge issue right now, partly because the American standard of beauty is beamed all over the world. There are a lot of uh, women in cultures uh, around the world that try to aspire to that, sometimes by sort of like tragically, you know, 
horrible procedures. In some cases, I think it is women who want to look more Western, and in other cases, you know, the argument is that they're just sort of wanting to look um, as beautiful as they can. It's almost too crazy to believe, but up until recently, it happened frequently in China that women got their legs lengthened. Of course, there's no end of torture. People put their hair through to make it, you know, uncurly and silky and shiny. Endless amounts of uh, plastic surgery to the face. A lot of Asian women have eyelid surgery. We ended up deciding to hire a photo illustrator for the story. The visual wasn't so obvious. There wasn't one model to shoot. Um, with a story like this, it's highly conceptual. And we've got an Asian woman and a Caucasian woman on the right, and we've got a pencil in between. Well, our keynote essay is by Rebecca Walker, who is a terrific writer and the uh, daughter of Alice Walker, of course, is a famous novelist. Rebecca is half Jewish and half black. It's an essay about how growing up, she really didn't see any other role models that looked like her. And as she's grown up now, she's really seen this evolve. The world is more open and accepting, and you know, it she's seen it as like a really positive evolution. I'm sure that our readers, as they become more educated, as they grow older, as they grow closer to their families, there is sort of um, a line where you cross where at one point you're probably fighting it a little bit and then at another point you're probably embracing your heritage. How many tattoos do you have? I have three. Um, I have this here which is, was my first tattoo. It is um, a quote from Albert Camus' The Stranger. Got it when I was 17, and it's, uh, it was very much a, um, it was in my existential period. It was very important to me at the time. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Asha. We're here today to talk about Diesel's Fall 2007 runway collection. Emily and April are wearing some style that we love. One of the biggest themes that we're seeing this season is metallics and bronzes. It's absolutely everywhere. And purple. Purple is a hot trend this uh, season. It's seen everywhere from mini dresses to overalls to outerwear. It's amazing. Other styles that we love are chunky, oversized tops, dresses. It's inspired by Blade Runner. A lot of feather and knife themes. It's very, very sexy. From the runway to your closet, you too can own these exclusive runway pieces at the new LA Diesel store. In the next episode, we're going to check out women's denim. Bye. Bye.